Oh, hey, welcome to my home. I don't know how you got in here, but uh, since you're here, did you hear about what happened with Trump and this judgment about $355 million and how they're now planning on seizing his buildings in New York City? Yeah, I've been thinking about that, and uh, I'm starting to think I don't want to live here anymore. Thanks for sticking with us. I'd offer you some coffee, but I can't very well put it through the uh, the internet. But um, yeah, anyway, where was I? Yes, I want to get out of here. I've seen where this leads. Now, I know there are the, those of you who are probably looking at this and you don't like Trump and you're thinking like, that's great. Yeah, let's get him with everything you've got. But what you don't understand is they are creating a legal mechanism by which they will come and take your property too. That is where this is going to lead. It's not about Trump. It's about you and your stuff. And let me tell you how it works. So in their judgment, they decided that since Trump had somehow, well, okay, let's go back to the whole genesis of this uh, this situation that Trump is in. He got a loan for, I don't know, a, a bunch of money. And when he was in the process of getting the loan, he talked to the bank and he told them, hey, I have this property. It's worth this amount of money. And I would like to get a loan, and this will be collateral so that I can get more property. And they are like, well, you know, that's great. Uh, let us evaluate the property, and we'll see if we can make a deal. So they checked out his property, and they said, yes, it is worth that much. And we will give you this loan for the amount that you want to in order to purchase the property. And so he got the loan, and he was able to purchase more property. He paid them back. Everything went well. And that was the end of it. Kind of like you. Kind of like you. Most of us in the United States have to use a loan when purchasing property. You want to get a house, a car, you have to go and get a credit check. The bank checks you, you know, they check your property, make sure it's worth what it's supposed to be before they'll give you the loan. Once they've determined it, they give you the loan and then you make the payments or whatever. And that's how it goes. Just like with Donald Trump. I mean, his is a much larger scale than yours, but uh, the same sort of thing. Well, guess what? Now, the government can simply decide, oh, we think that you lied to the uh, the bank, even though they did their own assessment, about how much your house is worth, about how much your property is worth. We think it was worth much less, and now we're going to fine you so much money that you can't pay it so that we can then just come and take your property. That's what it's going to come down to. This is, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm putting the warning out right now so that everyone who ever hears this, which will probably share it with everyone you can because people need to know what's really happening here in New York and what is being put together. This isn't about Donald Trump. Right now it seems like it's about Donald Trump, but it's actually about you. They are going to take your stuff using the same mechanism, the same creepy legal mechanism that they have used on Donald Trump. They can just decide that you defrauded the bank and even if the bank is happy, because in Donald Trump's case, remember, the bank came in and testified and said, hey, uh, we didn't get defrauded of anything. We, we appreciate his business and he paid us back and we're happy with it. The bank can do the same thing with you and it won't matter because the government can just take your land. We are living in the midst of, I don't know what you would call it. This, uh, this is the sort of thing that happened with communism. They uh, obviously don't have to change the law now because they can just do it this way, but they're going to come and take your property. They're going to take what you have, and I don't know what they're planning to do with it. I guess uh, nobody is going to own anything, right? Literally, because you won't. And if you disagree with them and you don't just give your stuff up, I guess they'll just take it from you and put you in prison because you'll owe them all this money, all these fines that you can't pay, and then you're just going to be in prison. This, um, this is something that needs to be taken very seriously because this is where it's going to lead. I uh, Let me see, how long have I been talking? Not very long, but um, I heard about this. I've been hearing about it for a couple of days now, and I have I've been trying to kind of move away from uh, talking about political things, but this is something that I, I've seen this. I've seen this story before. I've read this book before. I know how this ends. I have uh, family over in China that lived through this. I know where it goes. It's going to lead to a very scary situation. I, I'm serious when I say I, I don't feel like I want to live in this country anymore. Nothing nothing is solid anymore. You, you have no rights, literally no rights to your own property because they can just come in and say, 
whatever they want. Just like in the case with Donald Trump here. They can do whatever they want. They can say whatever they want. They can fine you whatever they want. I mean, uh, it's it's uh, this is not uh, not going to work. And I, um, you know, don't think that I'm talking about going to any sort of Western civilization. If I'm going to have to live under this kind of a system, I'd I would at least want to live in one that makes sense. That's further down the road. I I don't know what else to say. I um I, I'm 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 shocked beyond anything that this has happened, that this is the way that they're going. I know they've got, um, what is it, Kevin O'Leary and different people going on. I probably said his name wrong. Getting on the TV and saying, you know, like, hey, whoa, 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 you're, you're gonna, nobody's going to want to do business in New York again. No, nobody's going to want to do business in America again. Nobody's going to want to do anything again. And it won't matter because they don't care. These people in charge don't care if your business succeeds or not. They don't care if people come and invest in America they have something else in mind. They're putting together some kind of a nightmare system, nightmare uh, world. I don't know what, but uh, this is some scary stuff. And I'll, I, I've got to tell you, I uh, <laughs> the way that this is looking, I would rather live somewhere else. Not anywhere in the Western world. I'll tell you that because they're all basket case countries doing the exact same stuff. I, uh, this, uh, I, I don't know how we get out of this. I don't know how the country gets out of this situation. These people are going to tear it apart. They already have. I don't know. I've, I've heard. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to get into too much outside of the scope of what I'm talking about here. But let me tell you something. If you have a home and you have ever had a loan on that home, then you are, I don't know, you're in jeopardy of losing your property. I'm sure that they can come up with any reason they want to seize your property. But this is the, me the legal mechanism that they're going to use now. And they will take all your... Because think about it. Who's, who's taking the property? The government is, in this case. The bank got paid back the loan that Donald Trump had. They already got paid back the loan for the property. So there's no reason for them to seize it. It's the government itself coming and taking the property. The government is coming and taking his property. Um... Yeah, and, and I'm telling you, they will do it to you, they will do it to me, they will do it to everyone, because that's the way they are. They are the same. They're, I don't know if they're Maoists or, or what, but I, I'm giving you the warning right now that if this continues, and you know what, I'm not even going to say if it continues, it's going. There's some serious bumps coming along the road. We're heading to the, the rapids, a waterfall, something. Something is about to happen and it's going to get rough in this country. And you better be ready for it because I'm telling you, um, these, these people are insane. They are absolutely insane. Just as insane as Chairman Mao was back in the Cultural Revolution and the Great Leap Forward. They're going to do this stuff no matter what you say or what you think or what anybody tells them. They're going to do it because they think they're right and they have a different vision of what the world is going to be. And I don't even know who it is. Clearly, it's not uh, Joe Biden because he's out of his mind, let's face it. But whoever it is that's running the show behind the scenes, they're about to push us over a cliff. And you better be, you better be ready for it. Um, again, I'm telling you, I, I'm, I'm seriously at this very moment considering, you know, should I even bother staying in this country at this point? I, I feel like going back to China. I don't care how bad people say the economy is in China right now. I don't care. At least I understand them. I understand what their government is trying to do. And th this is crazy that, I, that I'm saying this, that this is even coming out of my mouth. But I understand them and what their goals are. And here, I, I think I kind of understand what their goals are, too. And it's very different. They don't want a better society. They want to destroy society. They want to build whatever it was, uh, this strange utopia. There are also people that think that there are too many people on the earth. If they're willing to do these kinds of things, I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave that for another little video talk. But uh, spread the warning because I'm telling you they're coming for you. It's uh, Donald Trump is just the... Uh, the first to go. This is where they build the mechanism. If they can do it to Donald Trump, they will do it to you. And believe me, they're going to come and do it. And it doesn't matter what state you're in. It really doesn't matter what state you You might think you're safe in Texas. You might think you're safe in whatever place. But let me tell you, eh, there you're, you're not. You're not safe anywhere. This, this, is, this is a terrible, terrible precedent that they've set. I hope that we can find a way to set things back on track, but I, I just don't. I don't see that happening for a long time. Um, who knows, maybe decades, 
if they continue the way they are. Spread the word. I'll talk to you guys later.